Hi everyone, welcome back to Edgewater Avenue. My name is Katie and today we're gonna be making the Vega Bottoms. For materials, you're gonna need about a half yard of swimwear fabric. You're gonna need regular sewing supplies and one quarter inch swimwear elastic. If you'd like, you can also use one inch elastic for the band on these bottoms. You're also gonna need a pattern. Like I mentioned, these are the Vega Bottoms. There's a front piece and a back piece and the back piece is actually small than the front because this style is very cheeky. If you want a little more coverage, then you can use the front piece as the back piece as well. There's also a pattern piece for the band, which is new for my patterns, but in order to get the perfect V shape, this band is specifically angled so that it matches the exact shape that perfectly fits into the bottoms. So the first thing we're gonna do as usual is cut our pieces. First, I'm gonna take my lining and I'm gonna cut one of the front and one of the back. Then I'll switch over to my outer fabric and I'm gonna cut one of the front and one in the back as well. Then I'm gonna cut two pieces of the band. Seam allowance is included in the pattern. Match your front pieces and back pieces with right sides together and pin all around. First, we're gonna sew the leg holes and we're gonna leave the top open. So you're gonna sew the leg holes for both the front and the back piece. And at this step, you're gonna add your quarter inch rubber elastic. Then you're gonna match your band pieces with right sides together and you're gonna pin along each V-shaped edge. Instead of using my serger, I'm gonna use a straight stitch on my regular sewing machine because the closer I can sew to the edge, the better the V-shape will sit. If there's a thick seam or too much seam allowance, then it's gonna get bulky. So using a straight stitch and sewing very close to the edge is the best way to go. Now we're gonna come back to our front and back pieces and we're gonna attach them together. Flip one piece to the right side and insert it inside of the other with right sides together. Pin at the gusset and then sew down across all four layers to secure both gussets together. Next, we'll attach the band to the bottoms. If you want to include your one inch elastic, you can also attach it during this step. Lay the band down over the bottoms so right sides are together. Focusing on one side at a time, which I'm starting with the front, you're first gonna pin at the center point and then all across the front to attach the band. Then repeat the same thing with the back piece, attaching it to the band. Also note that I'm just pinning the outer fabric to the band and I'm leaving the lining untouched. 
So when you're sewing, you're just gonna be sewing two layers of fabric together. Do this to sew the band onto the outer fabric. Now that that's done, there are two ways you can finish off these bottoms. One way is to flip over the raw edges and use a cover stitch or zigzag stitch to sew the band in place. However, in this tutorial, since I like to do seamless and reversible styles, we're going to be using the burrito method to make these completely seamless and reversible. Now I do want to mention that this is pretty difficult and it's going to take some practice to sew perfectly. Take the center of the lining front and the center of the remaining raw edge of the band and match them so right sides are together. Now when you do this, you're actually sandwiching the rest of the bottoms inside of the band. This is why it's called the burrito method. Start pinning down to match the band to the front. When you go to sew, you'll keep pulling the bottoms through as you're growing, and this will allow you to finish off the entire band. Again, this takes a lot of practice and I'm still working on getting perfect stitching. One tip that might help is first sewing with a basting stitch on your sewing machine. That way you can make sure that the fabric lines up and you're not stretching too much as you're sewing. Then once you have the basting stitch, you can switch over to your serger where you can finish off the seam. Sewing right on top of the basting stitch. So now, as you can see, we finished sewing all along, and now we have this little tube, which our bottoms are fully enclosed in it. I'm gonna go seam rip a hole, which I'm gonna use to take the bottoms to the right side. Make this hole as small as you can, still being able to take everything back out. Before you finish off the hole, here is another chance to put in some elastic. And I do want to mention that if you're gonna do elastic, you're gonna to need to make a V shape in order to make everything stay in place. So just cut the elastic and you can zigzag stitch it together. So finally, finish off the hole either with an invisible stitch or a top stitch. And here's how they turned out. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If I find any easier methods on how to do this, then I'll make sure to make an update. In the meantime, make sure you snag the pattern for the Vega bottoms at edgewateravenue.com or in the description and follow me on Instagram at edgewateravee. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.